Hello and welcome back to our final day of Holiday Club. I hope you've had a fantastic time. We've really loved looking at all your pictures and creations on the Facebook page, so keep on sending those in because it's just fantastic to see all your creativity. Some of you will have made your stained glass windows by now and I wonder what you think of the fantastic stained glass window that we've got here at St John's. Now tomorrow, Saturday, is the day for your treasure trail and there are lots of clues all around St Giles and the Ermine for you to collect. When you've collected all your clues and you've got all your answers, come and meet us at St Giles Church or St John the Baptist Church for your prizes and your certificates and we really look forward to meeting you and finding out all the things that you've been doing during this holiday club. Now today we're celebrating how wonderful human beings are what fantastic creations they are. So I'm going to hand you over now to Reverend Nick, who's going to lead us in a prayer. Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our holiday club. Thank you for all the activities that we've enjoyed and the stories that we've heard. Thank you today for our theme of human beings. Thank you for creating us out of love, creating us to know and to love you. Bless us this day. Oh. Amen. <gasps> Hello! It's day five of Holiday Club. We are thinking about something very, very special today. So special that I have put my special rainbow feathers on. Before we think about that today though, I wonder how good your memory is. Are you good at remembering back? Think back to Monday. What were we thinking about? I'll give you a clue. We've been thinking about God's wonderful creation all week. So what was it on Monday? Let's have a look in our story box, see if we can find anything to help. That's right, it was light. We were thinking about light and we heard that story where Jesus said he was the light of the world. And because we know Jesus is the light of the world, we know that we can always have light in our lives. And we thought about how we could bring that light to the lives of others. What about Tuesday? What were we thinking about on Tuesday? Think, think, thinking cap. Let me look in the box. Water! We were thinking about water, the power of water. Just think of all the things we couldn't do if we didn't have water. We couldn't even survive. You remember back to the story on Tuesday where the water came from? Yes, well done. It came out of the rock. I bet it doesn't come out of the rock in your house. What about Wednesday? What were we thinking about on Wednesday? <gasps> We're thinking about plants and trees. I wonder what your cress is looking like. I wonder if your cress is growing. We would love to see photos if it is. Thursday, just yesterday, not too long ago to remember. What were we thinking about? What else did God make? Yes, that's right, animals. Animals and birds. Oh! No, that's not a bird, but it is an animal. Animals and birds. So what on earth could be left today? Well done! You were listening really, really well when Nick and Rachel started our video today. We are thinking about human beings. That is why I have put my special feathers on today, because human beings are so, so special. You and me, we were made by God 
to be beautiful, to be special, to be unique. What does unique mean? It means that you are different from everybody else. There is nobody else quite like you. Nobody that looks exactly like you. Nobody that likes exactly what you like. Take me, for instance. I wear rainbow feathers. I don't know anybody else who wears rainbow feathers. But well, that's fine, because that is me. That's what makes me special. I like feathers, so I wear them. And there may be something about you that is very different to everybody else. And that is okay. That is the beauty of knowing that God made us to be different. Is that it's okay to be different. You don't have to worry about not being as good at something as somebody else. You will have something that you are good at. You don't have to worry about looking different to other people. That is good because you are beautiful, you are special, unique, and you are loved. Because today we haven't got a story, we've got a poem that was written thousands and thousands of years ago. And the poem tells us that God loves each and every one of us. God knows us. He knows that I have a special liking for feathers. He knows what you like. He knows what you are frightened of. He knows you. He knows what you are thinking. And he loves you. He loves you just as you are because he made you to be beautiful, to be special, and you are loved. I do hope you enjoy the craft today. We're now going to go to somebody who is beautiful, who is special, just as we all are, who's going to talk us through that craft today. And I do hope you have had a wonderful week. When you're out and about, do look out for me on the street, see if you can spot feathers. I'm not always wearing the rainbow feathers, but it's a very special feather costume. See you again, bye. Hello again, it is so lovely to be back with you again to introduce another craft activity. And what a brilliant story we've just heard. How we are beautiful and special and loved by God. Now, it's time to get out our Friday envelope and inside you will find a sheet that's full of pictures of clothes. You will also find two figures, one with long hair and one with short hair like this. Now, this is where you get your chance to make your people beautiful, special and unique. Because you can either use anything you've got at home, you could even use your paints if you wanted, to actually colour in your own beautiful, special and unique person. Or you could cut out some of the clothes very, very carefully using a pair of scissors and do ask for help if you need help with that. And then when you've cut out the clothes, I just made some earlier as well, you'll see that you can decorate those to be beautiful and special and unique to go on your beautiful, special and unique people. So I'm going to get a pen and I think I'm going to make a green spotty t-shirt. And then, you can attach them to your people. And I'm going to, ooh, what colour? I'm going to do red spotty shorts. Wow, these are very unique. And on they go. And at the end, obviously, you'll want to colour in more parts and give a nice big smile, maybe add some hair. And you will have two people 
who you will have designed and I would love to see how beautiful, how special and unique your people are. Another brilliant thing to remember today is that if you haven't had a chance to do your treasure trail yet, you can still do it because tomorrow on Saturday, between two and 4 p.m., you can come with your completed treasure trails and you can come to either St. Giles Church or St. John's Church on the Airman and you can collect a certificate and a prize. I don't know which I'm more excited about, the craft or the treasure trail, or maybe it's the prize. Could be all of them. It's been so good to be with you this week. We can't wait to see you tomorrow on Saturday. Bye.